Welcome back to the Racing Chef. San Francisco has many treats, and we got a real treat for you today. We're in the heart of Fisherman's Wharf at Boudin Bakery. They have a world famous sourdough bread we're gonna go taste. Come on. The Boudin Bakery has been around since 1849. The bread there is out of this world. They have a museum, cafe, and bakery all in one. I met up here with the master baker, Fernando Padilla. Thank you very much. Nice to meet you, Nikki. Wonderful place. Thank you. I have to tell you, he's got the oldest mother in the world, still living. <laughs> well, and here she is. <laughs> well, Nikki, let me show you. This actually is 161 years old. This is our mother dough or starter, okay? And this is how we make our wonderful Bodine sourdough bread. Uh, we will take 75, we will cut these on like this, and put this, hold this back. This will flavor your bread, flour, water, salt. I will hold this back and just put more flour and water and by tomorrow in 24 hours, it will grow again the same way like that again. Now, if I lose these, I have to shut the doors and I'm also fired. So 161 <laughs> years old. But put your nose in here. Hold on, don't inhale yet. Put your nose in there. Inhale now. You smell that fermentation? <laughs> huh? Yeah, that's amazing. It's amazing. Holy cow. All the natural, natural acidity from the wild yeast that's here in the air and the bacteria that is just, that, once you combine it. yeast isn't in every area, is it? No, it's only here in a small eight mile radius area that's here in the ambient. It's right here wow. in the air. So you make all the, you make all this bread. How many loaves of bread do you make a day? Right now, uh, we're doing around 15,000 loaves of bread a day. 15,000 loaves. loaves of bread. And, and, and you just run them through that machine? You got an automated machine down yeah, there? Yeah, we have a semi-automated, which I will scale the dough in here, and then uh, we'll portion it. We'll let it rest in those baskets, and then we'll shape it. We'll make a long baguette, or we we'll make a, our, what we're famous for also. We created a bread bowl on a clam chowder with the clam chowder, mm -hmm. so we have this half pound round uh, that, that we shape and then we bake and that's oh, how that you sounds have. great. Yeah, I saw you have like a cafe and the restaurant. You got a museum too, yeah. huh? We even have a museum here, yeah, correct. Yeah. Wow, that sounds great. So great, terrific. So if you ever uh, come to San Francisco, you have to come and visit this place because it's just, uh, there's no other place in the world. Uh, we're dealing with something that is a living thing, day in, day out. It's something that is alive, that we have to be doing all the time. And actually, and to be, uh, to be able to have a, a great result at the end, to be able to taste our sourdough that is out of this world. It looks amazing down there. I see them all working and everybody's getting things done and the smell is just uh, it's, outstanding. It's, uh, it's out of this world. And it's all, uh, uh, at the end of the day, if I see the results, that makes my day. Oh. You know, where did you say they have this bowl and the clam chowder and should oh, I yeah. go in there? Let's go over here. We have our nice uh, bistro restaurant and we also have a, our cafe where we have our clam chowder. I'm going to definitely see you're hungry have already. Yeah? That's fine. You know what? Thank Thanks you, for Nikki. taking all your time. I appreciate it. Thanks, Nikki. So I took Fernando's advice and I got the clam chowder in a bread bowl. I know what you're thinking. You're thinking the same thing I am. Oh, I can't wait to dig in. Well, I'm going to. And I'll tell you how it is. Oh, this bread smells great. And this clam chowder. Mmm. With a clam chowder, that is wonderful. You know, I hope when you see me, you thank me because you've been here and you've tried it. Let me know.